sometimes if resources are thin on a server and things get overloaded, um, Drive Image can get documents stuck. Nothing's lost, but the customer will call with the um, symptom of all the scans are going through, Drive Image is showing up at the copier, it's accepting all my scans, but none of them are showing up on the back end. I'm afraid they're all lost. Well, typically that's going to, sometimes the services will even still be running or we'll go into um, Task Manager and we'll open up services. There are three services that run Drive Image. Drive Image, Drive Image Print Service, and Drive Management. You see, they're all stopped here because I'm simulating this, this kind of crash. I'm not going to start them just yet. And you really don't want to start them. Sometimes they'll say they're still running, but the jobs aren't going through, and that's because something's stuck in process. Um, so we want to take a look at that first. So we're going to go to um, our folders. And we're going to drill into the program files for Drive. And I'll show you how the process works. If we come into Drive, Drive Image, when we scan at the copier, the first place that those scans go is the hop folder. Open up hop folder, and we see we have scans that are just sitting there. After, and it leaves hop folder, and the drive image manager will take over, and it'll move it to the work folders, like temp first. And from temp, they'll move into service. I see nothing in service, and they'll continue to move along and they'll finally get delivered where they're supposed to go. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to individually open those. So open a new window. Let's set this down here because I want to watch these files go through. Set this down and We'll also get that hot folder. And then since there's a good chance that one of these documents is causing my problem, I'm going to move them out of here and we're going to spoon and feed them back in. The hot folder, I'll leave where it is. Um, all of these are TIFF images with an identically named metadata file uh, with the information that was typed in at the copier for how to process that document. So now let's go back to services and we'll turn our services back on. We'll go drive management first. Print service second. And lastly, we'll start the drive image service. Now we should start see start seeing documents move from the hot folder and into temp. There they go. Created new folders that encapsulate the files that were within those folders. Moved them into temp management, then moves it over to service where they're processed, OCR'd, whatever was necessary, and then they'll be delivered, whether it's by email, to folder, or whatever. And they're finally cleared out. So now, we're going to take these folders that, these file folders that um, weren't able to leave temp. We're going to drop these back in and see if they'll process now. Let's 
sometimes there'll be a corrupt folder and one of them will, will get stuck in here again and not move on. And when that happens, we're going to drill into that folder, see if we can find out what the image is so we can alert the customer to this is the document that you need to reprocess. So we've got two that are still hanging. We'll give them another second. Let's go back and check services to see if services have died. Nope, still running. There, that one finally went. But you'll notice this folder still isn't moving out of temp and into service. So we're going to take a look at this because this one's stuck and things will get stuck behind it. And sure enough, there's only a metadata with no TIFF image inside of it. So it can't process this. And this is the folder that was holding things up. So we're going to just delete this. If there was a TIFF image in there, we would give that to the customer and ask them to rescan that document. Um, but we don't have any information to work with. So we'll get rid of that. And um, now things will continue running. We'll have them do a test scan at the copier and um, make sure things are rolling.